bucket is um, you know really enjoyable for three and a half seasons. You know, Gaffer Jim Bentley he got me out of non-league from Altrincham, and he's the one who gave me the chance back in the football league. And um, you know, like he just felt really, really liked and loved, and just enjoyed playing every minute. Um, obviously. It's a, it's a great club, great family club. Everyone gets on with everyone. It's just a really good place to be. We're great out of the house. Oh, my best goal, and um, probably have to be South End away. I think um, going to South End is always a difficult place to go, and just the time of the goal scored early on. Um, I, think, I think it was one. We won one nil. Um, Played a bit of neat football in the middle of the park. Uh, Kenyon found Devitt and he played a long diagonal pass, pass over the top and uh, hit it first time on the volley. I think that was probably my best goal in, in a more shirt. The, the step up is, I wouldn't say there's much in it. I just think you get a bit more time on the ball in League One, whereas League Two, as soon as you get your ball, as soon as you get the ball with the back to goal, you just get clattered. There's someone always like trying to trying to come through the back here but in, I've noticed in League One when you get your ball when you get the ball with the back to goal you get um, a bit more time on it like you know they're there because they'll touch you and feel you but it's this is all like they give you a bit more a bit more time and as soon as you turn then yeah they'll they'll try and clatter you but with your back to goal you get a bit more time. So. Yeah it's going really well. Um, you know it's a, it's a great setup yeah great set of lads um, Settled in really well. It's a, it's a big club and step up in league. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, training's been good. Squires Gate training ground next to the airport. It's uh, two fairs, like two two pitches, two lovely pitches. Um, and you know, you just, just by being here, it's, it's a lovely stadium. And it's a great setup. Um, been playing really well in the games. Just just been waiting for the first victory. Obviously we've got that weekend and hopefully we can just take that into the next game and kick on from there. So yeah, it's it's really it's a really good place to be at the minute. Uh, yeah, I'm missing him a lot. Um, no, I speak I speak to him quite regularly. Um, I'm still in the in the group chat on the um, on WhatsApp with the Carthill uh, Parish, Kenyon, and Bealy. So yeah, um, no, I still speak to a few lads. So. I keep in touch with everyone, so it's good. Every Saturday or every Tuesday when there's been games, I've been looking on my phone on the, on the app to check the results. And the first team I look for is um, Mr Morecambe. And see, just look for the score and then look in the team sheets who played, see who got the goals. And uh, obviously they've been doing really well. To be fair, I watched the goals on a, on a Saturday night on the league show, so I've um, been keeping an eye on everyone, yeah. So. There's been a few decent goals, to be fair, but probably have to give it to Mullen, I think, for... I forget which game it was. Notts County, yeah, who's cut inside and whips it uh, far top corner with his right foot. I've seen Dev's goal against Warsaw, but I'm not sure he meant it. I think it was a cross, <laughs> so I'm not giving it him. <laughs> not sure I'll be happy, but never mind. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a cross, like, so he's not he's not getting that one. Um, I think I think Morecambe will finish in the playoffs position, seriously. Um, I actually, I was actually talking to one of the lads the other day on the, on the way home from the game, uh, Blackpool lads, and I was saying I think Morecambe will finish in the playoffs because he had no chance. So I actually had a bet on him, um, just a little bet with him, um, shook on it, so I, I really believe he'll finish in the playoffs this season.